Let me tell you about Sam. He's a busy guy. He works hard and he wants what's best for his company and clients. He knows that he can be doing so much more than what he is doing today, if he only had the time. He works as a bookkeeper at a large company, and he is responsible for completing many different types of financial tasks, including accounts receivable, accounts payable, as well as record keeping of transactions and keeping the financial records of his company up to date. These include the balance sheet, cash flow statement, and their income statement as examples. Essentially, Sam helps keep track of how much money his company has, who owes the money, and who they owe money to. Sam needs to transfer data from his invoices that includes the ID number of the invoice, the date of the invoice, the company name, and amounts. He needs to get all this data copied to Microsoft Excel. He then needs to email the file with attachments each and every day. Wow, that must be tiring and repetitive for Sam. He's worn out. He wants to spend his time in more valued added tasks. What can he do about it though? Well, he knows Matt and Matt offers some help. How can Matt make it easier for him? How can he ensure that Sam spends less time on manual repetitive tasks? Hmm. As an expert in all things automation, including robotic process automation, Matt designs an innovative and effective RPA bot that copies all the data from all the invoices into the Microsoft Excel file, and then he adds the complementary files to email out. The bot is scheduled to do this at a certain time each day. Phew, sounds like Sam's day is about to get a whole lot better. How does this all work though? This robotic process automation that you're talking about. RPA software has AI technologies embedded, which include natural language understanding and machine learning, as well as the popular generative AI technologies, such as OpenAI's ChatGPT. RPA is more often referred to now as intelligent automation, that's intelligent automation or hyper automation. While the names are evolving and changing along with the increased capabilities of the software, the software itself still is popular and effective. RPA is a heavy lifter. It has Olympic style power. It can copy and paste a massive number of work units or tasks with lightning fast speed. People previously would have had to complete the task that RPA can tackle today. And at many companies that are unfamiliar with RPA, people still are doing these tasks that are great candidates for it. Examples of these tasks include pulling data, transferring data, performing calculations, updating client records, and completing common client requests. A lot of people still don't really understand RPA, and that's okay. Let's clear up a few myths about it right now. RPA is not a human-like robot. It does not have a body and is nothing like a person. It can't replace you or come anywhere close to matching how our brains work. It is not a supercomputer. It cannot do critical thinking like we can. It does not have the innovative and creative capabilities like we have. Do you want to use it? You should. There's some prep work for you though. First, figure out what process you have at your company. Take an inventory. Next, figure out which of them are manual, repetitive, and rule-based. That's manual, repetitive, and rule-based. Then, I want you to calculate which ones have the greatest amount of time savings. That's how you'll prioritize what to build first. Now, it's time to build your first bot, aka your first automated process. You'll want to test it before you use it after it's built to ensure you didn't miss anything when you were creating it and it performs the way you would expect it to. Now remember, RPA is simply a type of a software application. It can automate your processes, your tasks. But where do you start to in terms of finding the right tool, the right RPA tool to use? So some of the top choices in the market include SSNC Blue Prism, UiPath, and Automation Anywhere. Microsoft Power Automate is also a good choice in the mix. Now using RPA will give you reliable outputs that have significantly less errors than what you and your clients experience today. You can expect to also lessen the number of operational risks in your company. The satisfaction of your clients will improve. RPA can help you decrease the average time that your people or yourself spend completing tasks. You can lower your cost by up to 80% by using RPA. 
The return on your investment is exceptional and your results are realized in weeks, months, or quarters at the longest versus years with complex traditional technology projects. RPA will lower your onboarding time and your training costs, as well as save time with your valuable technology resources at your company if it's large enough to have them. This application is not specific to one sector or one industry. It's universal. The use of RPA continues to grow as well as the 10-year forecast for it. When you speak to any of the major worldwide consultancies, they also agree that automation's value is measured in the trillions of dollars globally. RPA has the potential to help more than 200 million office workers worldwide. And any person or company that has a significant amount of repetitive, manual, and rule-based tasks can greatly benefit from RPA, both in time and dollars. It's time for you to get trained and certified in RPA. Each of the companies mentioned have free training programs via their websites, which include Blue Prism, UiPath, and Automation Anywhere. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, and I'd also be very grateful if you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to catch future videos on the latest cool tech. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more from me, Matt Ribeiro. Bye for now.